Well, if you received gift cards over the holidays or maybe an Amazon Alexa, we have a few scams that you need to know about. Yeah, and a new roof, a new rule rather taking effect next year may make it much easier to price shop for health care. Our consumer expert Amy Davis is here to explain the new rule. Yeah, well, it'll certainly make it easier. It's more information than what we had. So hospitals are already required to provide a list of their standard charges. Bet you didn't know that. That's because if you tried to get that information, it's not easy. But next year, a new federal rule will require hospitals hospitals to publish prices for their standard services online. Everything from medicines to a cask to surgeries. They could also be required to give patients better access to medical records and stop billing for unknown services from out of network providers. So these new rules take effect in 2019. Well, this morning, a major scam alert targeting Alexa owners. Listen up. We know a lot of you received this device for Christmas, but if you're trying to set it up, you want to be careful about the app you choose. There is an app called set up for Amazon Alexa. It's fake. When you launch it, it asks personal questions like an IP address and the serial number to your device. Worst of all, this app was ranked number 75 in the Ooh. top free apps list so and number six for top utilities apps. So obviously they're gonna try to get that taken down, yeah. but while it's still there, do not download oh it. Gosh. Hey, if you receive gift cards over the holidays, you wanna be careful, gift card fraud is rampant. And when you go to use your card, you might discover that somebody else already has. They do this by copying the card on the number in the store, oh and then gosh. when they wait until somebody buys it to use that balance online. So there are some things you can do to make sure the balance is still there when you want to use them. Some cards allow you to register them whenever you get them. You may think like, ah, who does that? This helps the merchant track any activity. So do that if it's an option. And if you're dealing with fraud on a MasterCard or a Visa gift card, you can dispute those charges just like you would if something happened with your bank card. Oh my the gosh, same way. to worry about. I know, it's enough to worry about. And they say the sooner you use them, the less chance there is of somebody else getting their hands and using that number before you do. I've got some sitting in my drawer for like four years oh, no. ago. I yeah. know, me All too. Right. I'm like, I gotta yeah. use them. Those balances don't go down anymore because of anything the merchant does, but... Somebody's already probably used it. Right. Chances are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks for the Thanks. heads up. As always, we Amy, appreciate thanks. it.